Rama Nation, Chris Cobain here bringing you another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. As of the time I'm recording this, it is Tuesday morning, meaning we just got done one on Monday yesterday. So what better way uh, to promote that than to bring you guys a, a really good mono battle. Now this was from, actually it was from last week, it wasn't from this mono Monday, but uh, this was a really, really good battle. It's between me and one of my moderators in my chat named Night Scar, <clears throat> and as you can see, we will both be running mono normal teams, so let's take a look at the teams. I'm rocking Chinchino, Porygon Z, x Bob, Bravier, Aldino, and Furfro. He's got Porygon 2, Furfro as well, Furret, Raticate, x Bob as well, and Shadot. Now, this is the beauty of Mono Monday, because if you take a look at the teams, there's only two even UU Pokemon on these teams, and that is our each respective Porygons. Everything else is under that. Which is absolutely incredible. This is the exact point I want to run when I do Mono Mondays. It's you, you, and under. We say no legends. And this is the kind of teams I get to see on this day. And I love it. It's, you just get to see so many Pokemon uh, that you don't typically see. Uh, you know, you got the Raticate, the Fur, Chadot, Furfro, Aldino. They're everywhere. It's so cool. So anyway, this battle was really freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and get right into it here. So my best lead... Per usual is going to be Chinchino. If I don't like my matchup, I can always U-turn out. <clears throat> He's going to lead with Chadot. Now, this is beautiful because Chadot would be Focus Sash typically, so I can make him not Focus Sash by hitting with Rock Blast. Obviously, Focus Sash wouldn't matter. But he's going to predict that and switch into Furfro. Now, I used Rock Blast anyway because I knew uh, even if this was Rocky Helmet, it wouldn't really matter. But unfortunately, I do get the miss there. That's okay. Turn 2, I go for U-Turn. Now, I do get the Rocky Ammo damage. You might say, why U-Turn when you're connected to Rocky Ammo damage when you get a switch? Well, King's Rock. There's always that chance I'm going to get that flinch. It's not very high uh, using just U-Turn. It's a lot higher using, like, Tail Slap. But, turns out I get it. So, it worked out in my favor there. So, I'm in the thing that completely obliterates this team. I know he's switching into Porygon 2 here. No, so, instead of just Boom Bursting for... What would end up being basically a one-hit almost anything except Porygon. I'm going to go for Focus Blast instead. Risking it, but needing to. And as you can see here, I definitely needed to. Because this is... It doesn't even look like a two-hit KO there. But thankfully, apparently that was just a really low damage roll. Or this one was really high. I don't know. Either way, I end up twoing the Porygon too. It does absolutely nothing against me, which is freaking awesome. I hate that thing. So now I'm actually free to Boom Burst the rest of his team for basically a one-hit KO. So, brings in his Raticate here. Now, I figured Raticate was going to be some sort of a gut set. I wasn't sure if he's going to just go for an attack or protect there. He does go for the protect. Either way, my good switch was my physical wall for a throw. So, he goes for Facade. That does a lot of damage considering um, the Cotton or the Fur Coat ability. Now, I do go for Cotton Guard here. Obviously, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Furfro, uh, his defense isn't incredible, even with that ability, until you get a Cotton Guard up. I think his base defense, I don't even know. It's, it's, it's pretty low, though. Uh, his ability is what make him so bulky. So, he's going to do the same thing I did. He actually U-turns knowing the Rocky Helmet's there. Uh, that one doesn't serve as much purpose, except for the fact that if I switched, he could make a, a good prediction. Or, uh, well, he could make a good switch for whatever I brought in there. So, he brings in his own subwoofer. This is going to be just as terrifying. I'm going to miss the Toxic on a switch, which is super unfortunate, but oh well. And I'm going to switch out into Aldino here. So, uh, I know I know Aldino isn't taking two of these. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Um, too powerful. So, right off the bat here, both x Blouds come in, and they're going to completely obliterate both of our each respective special walls. Porygon take, couldn't take two Focus Blast. Aldino's not going to be able to take two Boom Burst. Wall Breaker power that is x -Plow. So, really here, I'm forced to make almost sack. Because I know there's nothing I can one-hit uh, one him with. I, he's lost his special wall. So, what I want to do is force him to stay in. He doesn't want to switch anything else into a Tri-Attack. Because he's lost his special wall. If I brought in uh, Braviary to try to one-hit with Super Power or something. He could have switched into Fur Throw. And it was critical that I get some sort of damage on x Bloud, as you'll see later, which I did there. So, now I can bring in Braviary. Um, I'm fairly certain he's going to switch here. So, instead of just going straight for the Super Power, I figured that um, Furfro was coming in. So, I'm going to go for U-Turn instead. And that's going to do a pretty good chunk of damage. Well, it's not going to do any damage. It's going to do a pretty good chunk of damage to me using the Rocky Helmet. But, it's going to allow me 
to bring in, you guessed it, x once again, and there's really nothing he's got here. Everything is fodder, uh, except for this focus Ash chat up potentially, so, which he's not looking to break that already. So what's going to happen? I'm just going to boom burst, and it's going to completely annihilate his wall, and I've broken both his walls with x alone. Now, he brings in for uh, Raticate again. I actually stay in here. Reason I was actually really scared of U-turn. If he would have U-turned and he, and <clears throat> I brought up Furfro, he would have brought an x Blood and I would have had another death. So instead, I just let him die, and I feel like I can bring out something to take him down for me. That's going to be Ray Chinchino here. Um, <clears throat> I I know that I'm going to outspeed him. He's not going to be able to really take a bullet seed uh, at his HP. So that's why I was actually just trying to keep x Blood off the field in this particular situation. And I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, God, he's going to go down to the bullet seed, which is good. So, now he's going to bring in Furret. So, I kind of thought Furret might be Scarfed, but I also kind of thought that I would live a return should he go for it. And again, pretty scared of U-turn here, so I'm going to stay in. He is going to go for the return. He is Scarfed, but unfortunately, even off the live, I miss the freaking tail slap, which kind of sucks, so... Knowing he can't return here, I'm going to switch out into my fur pro again. He's going to go for a turn. Unfortunately, he gets the crit, which is more annoying than anything else. Um, I'm, I was pretty positive at this point he wasn't going to keep, or he wasn't going to switch. And even if he did, I was okay getting return off and, and killing. I would have been able to kill the x plot even if he killed fur pro. So I just stay in. We trade back and forth a few returns here. Um, off the crit, though, from when I switched in, he is going to be able to get to kill on me, which is... You know, oh well. He doesn't quite die to the Rocky Helmet either. I'm not too worried about that. Um, I still have Bravier on my side, who I know is going to outspeed this Furret uh, because he's Scarfed as well. So I'm just going to bring him in. I'm going to go for the Brave Bird here. That's going to take him out, and it's going to make it a really powerful 2 on 2 here. Um, but I am thinking I have the victory at this point um, because of the fact that I'm going to outspeed the rest of his team with Braviary. So... He is going to bring out Chat Out. I was pretty positive based on that switch that he was going to be a Sash set. I'm just going to go for my... I'm not going to switch and sack him or anything, obviously. I just want to break the Sash, if nothing else. So I'm going to go for the Brave Bird. It's going to take him down to the predictable Sash. And he's going to completely obliterate him with a Boom Burst. Um, Chat Out is so powerful. So that's the second thing on his team who's carrying Boom Burst. Such a good, such a good move, too. With a 140 base power, no drawback. So good. So now it's just down to 2 on 1. It's, I'm, it depends really on how much I can do to this x -Bloud. I'm just going to go for Bullet Seed. No reason for me to risk you know missing the Tail Slap on the Rock Blast. That'd be kind of ridiculous. So going to kill the chat out. And now it comes down to how much Chinchino can really do to the thing I was scared of the most. That's going to be his x -Bloud. I know I have to go for Tail Slap. I have to get max damage. Thankfully I hit it. And... It does, it, does a, it does a little there, but I end up getting a crit on the second one. Uh, in the long run, as I end up killing him before, it doesn't matter because obviously a crit isn't even twice as much damage. Uh, so I still had a fifth hit coming there, which would have finished it all for me. And uh, that will be the game, you guys. A very close 1-0. I think I had like 14 HP left on that Chinchino at the end of the battle, so... Um, you know, surviving that Scarf Burr return ended up helping me win that battle, so take what I can get, right? Anyway, that is the end of the battle, guys, so thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the battle, make sure you hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you do subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. If you've not done so yet, uh, I try to get out content uh, every few days at least, and if you sub, it'll give you alerts every time I do put out videos. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out my live stream either, you should do so at twitch.tv slash xcrushgarband. I'll put a link in the description below. It'll be your best shot to battle me. Talk to me live on stream. I stream six days a week. It's a fun time. I hope to see you guys out there someday. Anyway, that is it for me, you guys, so I will see you guys in the next video.